Hi folks, uh, we're back in uh, snow job land. Um, most of these poems were written, all of them were written before uh, 40, they're 40 or 50 years old, not quite as old as me. And uh, we'll do uh, continue reading them. Um, but first, a break into the present. This is 2006, and we have a 2006 war. We've had a lot of wars. Uh, it seems to be um, habit forming. But enough of that, enough for now, anyway. Um, So this poem is sort of in a, uh, it's about symbolism, and it's about writing and language and life and uh, simulacrum and virtual reality. And uh, there's an Arab saying, if I do not believe that reality is in any way real, how shall I say that dreams are dreams? So you figure it out. I haven't quite figured it out either. So this is, I'm going to read, this might not be my favorite poem, but I'm going to go through uh, what this person was 50 years ago. So it's uh, called, What Would a Leaf in the Jungle of Symbols Say? I guess it's a real leaf, though, but it's a leaf on the it's a leaf on the printed page, too. I start at shoot. <clears throat> cool and green's my morning sway. Till, this is the leaf talking, I realize that. Till sun snake hiss to yellow flight of day. And gay, pride, gay pronged at noon, triskillions of praise. That's a three, three part circular symbol, triskillions of, pray, of praise. My violet shadows hide beneath a sapping blaze. Till fall the harrowed eve when Philfot, that's four-pronged symbol, slyly whirls away and brown the somber earth where crimson swastika shall lay. A red leaf with, with four circle. What would a leaf in this jungle of symbols say? Now the pith trees bear which pointed symbols slay. It's printed winter and the trees are canon loss except a gnostic star of snow where targum bleeding branches cross. Targum is the Aramaic translation of the Bible, so it's all about symbols, folks. Mm, heavy man. Uh, part one. This is a new poem. Class, we will have an exercise. Imagine the color green and tell me what you see. I see a field waving to forever. Odysseus swims. I smell that sea. I see a tree all pruned and French and clever. Ah, teacher, I see only you and me. Two. Students, we shall now find what blue brings to the open mind. I see arctic azure sky. I see south blue there. The stair. I see south blue there. The sad flamingo fly. I see morn stars dropped in dew within a navy nebula. I turn you three. Pupils, shall we try instead visions of the color red? 
I see ships with oars of gold and knaves of wind about their heads. And I see pharaohs red with height. That's that lighthouse, Egyptian lighthouse. And I see pharaohs red with height shining through the Hittite night. No oh, purple plum and pit of red, white before the black of dead. We shall gape that cry in you, you and I, I and you, and all be sheen. And zero said, and rain fall bowed upon our bed, and fig be shade, and grape be charms within the orchard of our arms. I guess everyone has fallen in love with some teacher or other, right? Um, <clears throat> the next poem is called Letter of Surrender to the World. And it, I remember a poem I learned at, uh, at Brooklyn College. I forget who the author was, but it started, uh, I strove with none, for none were worth my strife. None was worth my strife. This is a letter of surrender to the world. I strove with all, for all were worth my strife, mistress and man, child and wife. Now I drop the gun and fight and offer up my unused life. Unused? I unused. For in the struggle I was wounded, I, but not halfly deep enough. What I bled was mediocre stuff. For if I cannot cry looking at my meager hand, if I do not die, when love lies daggered on the sand, where's the point to it? God damn the bluff, said Icarus walking out to sea. That fool that's drowning on some native strand. Can he be me? Uh, the next poem is about the Spanish Civil War, 1936-1939. It was a war that uh, had the uh, uh, fascist loss. There would not have been a World War II, and everything would have been different. But uh, the way it was hand the way the world handled it. This is really a pacifist talking, right? Uh, the fascist one. And it was also a clear, there was a clerical struggle in Spain between the Catholics, the Catholic Church was probably the strongest in all the world, the strongest uh, of any nation in the world, and um, for want of a better term, secularism, not domination by uh, religion. And it's about Lorca. Uh, Lorca's in the title. The title is uh, The Bishop of Bermuda and Seville finds a poem of Lorca hidden near the altar stairs. <clears throat> and this is for Rafael, a, a Mexican student I met in this period in the United States of America. He was a radical or Mexican revolutionary. They go back hundreds of years and they're still doing it in Mexico. Good luck to them. Uh, Lorca was killed. He was shot to death uh, by uh, the reactionary, the fascist, the church in Spain during the Civil War under circumstances I'm not sure of. He was gay, so that was enough reason, I guess, to kill him. The Bishop of Bermuda, of Bermuda and Seville finds a poem of Lorca hidden near the altar stairs and thinks of Eliot 
cloistered to a northern church of ice, of civil maritan and sodomitic sheen, and of the venerable and the unven and the unvenal bead. A classic English priest. He laughs a queasy laugh of goodness and of oil. What's the matter, Torquemada? Don't you have a match? Torquemada was the um, leading inquisitor of uh, 15th century, uh, was it 15th century Spain? Interestingly enough, he was uh, the son of Jews. Uh, his parents had converted to uh, Judaism to Christianity. That was one of the choices you had. I think he could emigrate, uh, become a Christian, or stay Jewish and be burnt at the stake. I wonder if the stake was a uh, mill. No, the stake was a uh, kosher stake. No, no, it's terrible. What's the matter, Tokamata? Don't you have a match? Stand back. God is love. Good news. The rabbi of Rome and other Jews returned to Mother Church. He sighs with relief and prays the Holy Father will stay strong in his belief and gazes at the people through the lattice screen of windrows and of silvered foil. I'm not quite sure what windrows is. I think it's that uh, round, round, uh, a round window with uh, arrows going every every which way. Now we have another Holy Father in uh, Rome. He's uh, kicking up quite a stone. Part two. Ia ora adonde esta Nin in Salamanca o in Berlin. Nin was a uh, liberal or maybe a socialist minister in the loyalist government that was attacked by Franco and the fascists, the Nazis, the Italian fascists and the German Nazis. And he disappeared, uh, and they, which he was charged with running away with money and so on, but he was actually shot by the uh, Francoists. So that, that's translated, where, where now is uh, I think his name was Andres Nin, in Salamanca, which was uh, a rebel stronghold, or in Berlin. Name droppings, ideas crashing like rotted coconuts on the moor tiled floor. The breast pump milk of adoration cloys. It spreads like bartered fat. Who will dare to vacuum the electric beards of beggars? Spain was a poor country. The gargoyles have goiters. The stone is gone in cancer. Cathedrals of the betraying mind are certainly too fine for goths. Lock the sacred heart against the vandals. Those were invading tribes who uh, attacked uh, Christian uh, Europe. Or maybe even Roman Europe. The bishop laughs among the runes. I, donde esta Garcia Lorca, and Nueva York and Menorca. And where is Garcia Lorca? Is he in New York? He actually had visited New York a lot. Or in Menorca. Jesus save the Lord and knave, the tyrant from the overwilling slave. Love has fallen into the olive body of gypsy guitars and is struggling to get out between the moaning strings of gut and silk. Y donde esta Buenaventura Duruti en Rio Manzanares o en Djibouti? Duruti was uh, a uh, loyalist hero. 
group, and he was shot, I think, maybe by his own people who thought he was becoming a communist. The communists and anarchists had some fun killing each other during that war. Rio Manzanares, I think, was um, a river near uh, Madrid, and Djibouti was uh, in fascist Italian conquered Abyssinia. He don't need to stop Buenaventura de Ruti and Rio Manzanares or in Djibouti. Go south to Africa. There the King of Harlem. Look, a look, is being carried on a chariot of Christless. That's spelled C H R I S T L E O. Oh, Ebony, young man, oh, Ivory, Miss, oh, Solomon and Sheba. Kiss. Sheba was. to be a black woman. Riding to the subtly stated fair of the Oranienburg Freud State. Oranienburg was a German concentration camp. He is a delegate of the Union of Unions of the Sleeping Car Owners heads quartered in Philadelphia, USA. <laughs> El Rey, El Rey, El Rey de Harlem. Lorca, look. Man, he's making it. Sooner N dot 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 R will be head of the United Nations. Actually, that happened, didn't it? The black man became head of the impotent and uh, floundering and uh, U.S. betrayed uh, United Nations or nation, United Nations by the U.S. and other capitalist nations. And